Yo, yo, I'm Mixed Miles and Mild Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we'll speak my little tiny, a Riley boy. Say hi, Riley boy. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? How are you doing? <laughs> At home, yeah. Are you alright, are you? Yes. You look full of beans. Look, we need to get on today because <coughs> we're going to go for a walk down Swanbourne Lake in Arundel, walk around the park, maybe go out on the boat and the ice cream. How's that sound? Yeah. Right, we're going to be doing that today. So we need to get on, no mucking about, get this video done, get out. Daddy? Yeah. That's just a weird thing. Does my mommy email and my amita on holiday mm. call CBB Try Hotel in Five York Pay would be so wise. You've been to you, you've been to CBB's land. Where are we going next year? Tell me guys we're going next year. Does my boy daddy and my mommy put in a messy holiday tour is Turkey? We're going to Turkey next year and we're getting a new kitchen yeah. next month. Yeah, in my beverage is so much for getting the video done. Yeah, so we're going on holiday next year. That's all paid for. Kitchen, sign on the dotted line, uh, 18 grand for a new kitchen. So that'll be going in in about a month's time. Um, we've got a consumer unit going in tomorrow. Blokes going to do a consumer unit. We've got to do a bit of trench work for the cable that runs into the shed that's got to be moved. And also a new window as well next month as well. So we've got loads going on. Loads. Anyway, long story short than what he just said. On the bench today, 90 litre um, SGS air compressor. Um, my air compressor I had, I don't know if you've videos on it, it broke twice. And uh, the last time it broke, um, it, wouldn't, yeah. it wouldn't hold air. And also, um, what else was it doing? It wouldn't hold air. And oh uh, yeah, there's a rattling noise. So I took it apart, had a quick look at it, and confirmed that the, the bolt that actually holds the electric motor to the cylinder had snapped. The bolt was snapped. So I just wanted drilling and tapping. Anyway, SGS said, uh, you've got to send it back. And even under warranty, after six months, you are, you are responsible for sending it back, shipping. So I spent about 70 quid, get it sent back. And they said, um, yeah, we can't repair it. We'd like to offer you an, a, a replacement. So I said, well, rather than getting a direct replacement, I'd rather upgrade, get something a bit bigger, and also a belt drive one. So I've just purchased, they refunded my money, £150, £160 for the old, the old one. So it's a, I didn't, didn't lose no money there. But I lost a 70 pound for shipping, but I've just bought myself a 90 litre um, belt driven uh, horizontal cylinder uh, air compressor. So today, unboxing, get it up and running, get it working, review, and we it says, yeah, what's it say? Do not crush it. Accept. If, if damaged. Do not accept if damaged. So it doesn't look damaged. Blow it up today and uh, took it off the lorry. I've just wheeled it down, put it on top of the old bench. Let's get it unboxed, get it reviewed, see what it looks like, see what it sounds like, and go from there. If this is the first time you've watched Mixed Miles and Mild Man, hit the subscribe button, whack what the old the bell. Yeah. That way, pardon me, got hay fever. That way, you'll be told next time we're we'll another video. So, without further ado, let's get down and dirty, have a cat, and uh, dogs barking, and uh, we'll get this un unboxed, reviewed, get it looked at, and we'll go from there. Right. So let's get an unboxing Riley boy. Where's my, I did have a pair of scissors a minute ago, but I put them down because I got too excited about a new air compressor, so that's no problem. I, I don't know if you'll find them, mate. I think I left them outside. I've got another pair here, but what's more important is to find the other pair I had. So, down the old box, get rid of some wrapping. I'm going to throw my bit. Yeah. Could now, I did, it come on another pallet, so I had to take that pallet apart to, um, to get it through the gate and what have you. That's that. How are you doing, O'Reilly? You doing, you doing, well done, you're a good lad. Right, you're helping loads. Hang on, hang on, bit of wood there. This is two seconds, boy. Don't get too excited. You're more excited than Daddy is. So, let's get this stuff out of the way. Mind so toast. That's it. Right. So, we've got a bit of wood there. Let's get rid of that. So it's all part of the packing process. Oh, What's that? That's right, you leave it for a minute, mate. You leave it for a minute. Another bit of wood up here. So it's well packaged. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. I'm going to put stuff out. Two seconds. Right, so it looks like this come up. If I drop the table down, just a smidge, my totos, drop the old table down, Ooh. and then I should be able to lift that up Ooh. Oh, over top, top, maybe. It's so heavy touch up. more. Daddy. Hang on, buddy. Yeah, hang on. There it goes. All right, there you go. Oh, we're there. Daddy. Right, let me get the rest of this unpackaged. So it Clear a bit of space, and I'll come back to you. Right, so. Big blue, big blue um, compressor. It, do you know what? It looks, it looks pretty. I've got to say, it looks pretty. She's a pretty looking machine. 
So originally I had a 50 litre upright direct drive compressor and it just was not quite big enough for me. Um, and it, oh, it was noisy. It sounded a bit like my mate, Hobby Motor in Denmark. He's got a hydraulic lift table and it sounded like that. Ah, annoying noise. All right. So it looks like you've got an assortment of bits comes with it. Handle, wheels, oil. Uh, that must go in the oil filler. Instructions. Lots of, oh, it says here, look, check daily. Who's, who's, oh, well, half a daily. Half a daily. Check. No, leave it. Um, fill, with air, fill with compressor oil up to the red spot on the sight glass. Now, it's already got oil in it. Fill with compressor up to the red spot on the sight glass. It's already up there. Let me show you. Somebody has already done it. So I think that's good, but I'm gonna put it on, le on the level surface first, just to make sure. So it's saying the filler up to the red dot. Now it's a bit on the screw width, but you can see here, look, there's a red dot. It's already got all in it. So that's good. I'm gonna double check. Yeah, if you're all here, look, look, it's come out of here. Let's see if there's all already been out. So I wanna check, make sure that that oil um, canister has already been opened. And if it has, then uh, I know that we've got enough oil in, in this device already and they've already filled it up. So that'd be good. Mrs. P. <sighs> Mrs. P, what, 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 mummy? Yeah, coming. Is she coming down? Yeah. Cool. Well, where's dad? Where's mummy? She's coming right now. Where is she? She is brushing teeth. Oh, she's right. So, so that's not been opened. Look, that's not been opened. So I need to double check that. Now, the little tiny plastic bit that come with it is a very small. Where'd that go? Oh, well, little, little tiny plastic bit here, guys. Where's that? that little tiny plastic bit. Uh, that's, a, that, that's a fan belt, yeah. That bit there that comes with it. That goes in the oil filler. You've got a little tiny bung there to take that out. Right, like that. That comes out, and then that bit will screw Good into here. there all the way down. I got my fingers, mate. All the way down. It's got a little tiny spanner place there, just just to, just to compress that O-ring down, so it sits down nicely. So that's that. So that's that. Now all we've got to do really is um, put the handle on, handle to go on, wheels to go on, that's about it. The handle will go up far end, that go up here somewhere, I'm guessing, I think. So that's where the back wheels go. I will see it. And then uh, it's got a little tiny dolly wheel at the front, and then it's also got these big wheels at the back. Let me get you repositioned, and we get it all set up. Right, so to set it all up, it looks like you don't get any spanners with it, by the looks of it. No spanners, no Allen keys. Oh, hang on, I might be telling lies. No, no, no spanners, no Allen keys. Now the handle, that goes over the far side over here. There's two tiny Allen, like Allen bolts here and the handle will, will fit in there just like so, right? So the two little tiny Allen bolts, as I say, just uh, just here. And um, all you've got to do is just undo those and then um, as you're undoing them, just slide the handle in, into place. So that, that's easy enough. So with the handle now in place, just slid in place, all you gotta do is just, just tidy that up. Now the, the, the bolt on the far side is a little bit tricky. You don't get that quarter of a turn on it. Um, but you know, you just gotta take your time. Uh, the chances are once the handle's in, you're not really gonna be taking the handle off again, I wouldn't have said. So that's good enough. The handle's in, in as far as it needs to be. And I've got it flat with a cylinder. So that um, not only does it actually protect the regulator in case you drop something on it, but um, it's not gonna stick out any further than the, uh, than the actual device itself. So I'm just gonna tighten down those bolts so the handle is well on there. Nice and tight, and we take the weight of it. And then we move on to the back part of it, which would be putting on the, uh, the back wheels of the air compressor itself. Right, so fitting the, um, the back wheels on, uh, the wheels come in a little tiny bag and there'll be a 17 mil um, bolt going all the way through with a little tiny spring washer. Now, one would like to assume, um, without looking at any instructions, is that you just tip this up, lift this up in the air, and then you just literally um, put the wheel on. But before you do that, this is actually screwed down with a little, what looks to be like a 10 mil um, bolt right down the bottom. Let me just show you that very quickly. So down the back here, you can see there's a little tiny 10 mil or eight mil bolt down here, which they've actually secured the, um, the air compressor, there's another one down here as well, to the pallet, okay? So you need to bear that in mind before you put your wheel on, but you'll have to just literally um, 
take those little ones out. They look to be like about an eight mil. So let me grab an eight mil on, on an impact. Let me grab one of those quick. I'm running out of space here because the packaging was actually very, very good to be fair. Uh, what are eight mil? So tens, nines, eights. Let's try an eight. Yeah, eight mil. And we get a, quite a long extension bar to be fair because um, that is quite a distance. So I just want to get my impact. Put that into there. And just run that screw out. Now there'll be one on the other side. I'm going to be right in your way of a camera, no doubt. And that's right on the other side too. Let me get it repositioned for you. So the next one is all the way down here. There's one there. If I can get it out. There it goes. So that's that one out. And I dare say there'll be one more to do, which will be right on the very, very front. Let's have a quick little look. So on the front one, it's not got one, but it's just stuck on a little tiny slide plate. You have to slide that compressor backwards just to take it off the slide plate. So I'll do that now. I'm just gonna grab hold of a compressor and just slide that back a touch. If I can do it, I can't do it one-handed, gents and ladies. I need to have two hands. Just to slide that back. There you go. That's now out of, out of that little slide plate. So now we can now fit the um, the wheels. I'll do the back wheels first, that'd be the easiest I think, and then we'll go from there. Right, so fitting wheels time. Um, as I say, you've got a bolt all the way through. Um, they've got no bearings in here, just a shoulder bolt. I'm going to lift it up, um, slip the bolt all the way through, and then uh, the nut and bolt, uh, the, uh, the nut and washer to go on the back. So that's the idea. So this is going to be quite heavy. So just take it easy, because you don't, you don't want to be dropping this now. Onto there, one hand. Just loosely going to fit that one on, whilst I've got the weight of the compressor in my hand. That's it. And gently lower the compressor down a bit more, just so it's resting, and it will rest. I'm then going to undo the other wheel, and go around the other side and loosely fit that one. So around the far side now, I've got it all prepared. And grab, grab my nut and washer ready. Grab my wheel, tip it up that way. And all I'm gonna do is just gonna tip the air compressor up now over the other side. It will move a little tiny bit. Slide that wheel onto there. Into its little tiny place. Just put, put my knee up against that. I'm gonna grab the washer and the nut. Loosely do that up, just so it's got it. Once it's got it, I can then just lower that down slightly, move it all over, just so it sits on there nice. And then grab my 17 mil spanners and nick that up. Then I know that's nice and secure. Now what we're doing is up colossi type, because we've got nylon, nylon lockers on there. So I want it just enough, just so that so it will actually spin. I might just pull that through a bit. It doesn't seem to pull it through all the way. I'll do there for now. Come around the other side, and we'll do the other side up. So now we're back around the other side. I can now get my spanner on the back of that one there. And we're gonna do this one up. Lovely job. And all that's left to do would be the little tiny jockey wheel uh, on the front. But the first thing I want to do is just going to bust the back of this box off here. And I'll sort of wheel this air compressor off now, off the packaging, and put it onto the actual lift table itself. And then that way I know we're nice and level for when we go to, um, to check the oil levels. And we'll fit the little tiny dolly wheel on the front. So let me just get it pushed off onto a table and I'll come back to you in two ticks. And then we can fit the jockey wheel onto the front. Get the bag up. Get the bits and bobs out of here. Four nuts, four bolts, no washers. And the plate sort of sits on sideways. It doesn't sit on perpendicular to the cylinder. And these would be about, these would be about a 10 mil, I'd say. Let me double check the size of those. Could be a 10, they're a 10. 
So literally, this plate doesn't sit on like this, it sits on that way, okay? Like that. So all you wanna do is put your bolts through, I'm assuming. Hey, all right, buddy. I'll face on Oh, you face on Nana, did you? Good boy. All right, put your bolts through. Now, you could put them on the other way. I dare say someone will probably tell me you've done it wrong, Mick. But as long as it's done up is the main thing. There you go on. And then your plate goes on underneath that. Uh -huh. And in fact, I'm going to do that because that is wrong, Mick. Because the nuts are going to be uh, the wrong way up. So let me take them out. And we're just going to do one at a time. Yeah, not those sort of nuts, right? Different sort of nuts. Yeah, help. Mate, a bit fiddly for you. That'll go up into there. I'll just grab a, a nut put on there. Let's get it started. Now, this is quite a heavy little compressor, so if you're on your jack, you just want to make sure you, you've either got, well, you've got a bit of help with you, would be good. Or, um, or um, you, you use what I'm using, like a, like a axle stand, just to help you, just to help you out. Once you get a couple up in there, it's just, it's just space is a bit limited, especially with an axle stand right in the way of it and all like I've got. And these are nylon, nylon locking nuts as well, so make sure I've gone the right way around. Just a bit fiddly. It would have been nice if they'd actually welded the, um, the nuts inside that plate. That would have been a really nice little touch. That's that one done. And then I'm going to scoop that one up. So that one won't be too bad to do because my... Uh, my line of sight would be a bit easier. Just a little tiny bit fiddly. Doing them up's gonna be easy, I would have thought. That's that one started. And one more to go. <coughs> this one'll be a bit tricky. Up it goes. Yeah, it'll be quite hard to get to that one, I think. Well, I should be able to get to it, hopefully, he says. Oh, oh, nearly had it. That one I might do in a minute. Once the um, once the uh, actual stands out of the way, so I'm just gonna grab a 10 mil spanner, 10 mil, and I'm gonna just grab a 10 mil socket with a ratchet. I think we do up do up by hand rather than mucking about. 10 mil socket, 10 mil spanner. Put that round the back here somewhere just to lock that 10 mil on. Once the nylon locker starts to starts to grip, we'll be away. But it is just it's all fingers and thumbs, as you can see. It's all fingers and thumbs. There you go. Right. Once you get one or two up there and it starts to hold it in place, you can remove it off the axle stand and uh, you'll be in a much better position. But you, you sort of get the gist of what I'm doing. Once it's sat on itself, you better get in there and do them all up nice. So, you've got four of these to do, guys. I don't suppose you want to sit here and watch me do all four, do you? So let me get all four in, done, and I'll come back to you once I've done them. Well, that was a bit of a fiddle. In the end, I had to get the air, I had to get the air compressor out. I had to get the impact out and just hang it over the bench. But um, not too bad. Uh, four bolts, all done up. And now the uh, compressor will now spin quite freely on that one dolly wheel. So it's manoeuvrable. Here is your um, outlet valve for um, taking out your, your pressure. That's not tight too, man. There it goes. So you just drop that out. And that, that, that's what dumps your, um, dumps your air. So that, that's fully un, that's fully done up and that's fully undone. So just make sure when you get it, you just just do that up, just so that your your tank will compress. And then every single day, it says here, um, drain moisture from tank every week to prevent tank corrosion. That's what it says. So every week, but it doesn't hurt. Just literally just to empty it every day. I'm gonna be changing this and putting a single lever valve on that, just so you just go just open it up and it's done. So that's what I'm gonna be doing with that. Um, this is the SGS Professional, baby. It's the first bit of professional kit I've ever had in my workshop in my life. So super happy with that. 
just going to go around and just double check all the couplings of that nice and tight because my other air compressor I had from SGS, um, it did over time wear a bit loose. So just make sure your couplings are all okay and we're all good. And it also says on this little tiny label here, uh, fill up uh, with compressor oil up to uh, the red spot in the sight glass before turning on. So mine is up to, it's halfway over. So I don't have to put any in. Um, but it's just something you want to check. So just make sure that when you are using this machine every day that you're checking that you've got oil in it before you turn it on. Just just as, as, as a daily thing. Do you know what I mean? Check it all daily. It even says it on there as well. So, Right. Um, all it's left to do now is to plug it in, turn it on, see what it sounds like and go from there. Bear in mind my old compressor. Oh man, that was noisy. Oh my lord. It was really noisy. It's a bit like, this, a bit like listening to the mother-in-law. So we'll see how we get on. I get it off the bench, put it on the floor and then we get it turned on and go from there. Right. Okay, so now ready. Riley boy, come over, you stand here, buddy, so guys and girls can see what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. Um, what's that? A tree. Oh, a little, little bit of cable, it's fine. Right, so now, this is where it's going to live, guys. In this corner, hither. Mine, the paint work, I've only just bought it. So it's going to sit in there. Daddy, my boy boy. Yeah. My boy boy boy. In it goes. Perfect. So, it's got plenty of room for the fan to, um, to draw air. Now that's where it's going to live, um, but I, as I use it, what I might do is I might, I might pull it out, but so it's by the door, so it can actually draw a bit more, a bit more air in there as well, to keep it nice and cool. So don't be, uh, don't be worried about, um, about it keeping cool. Really cool. So that's where it's going to go. So now is a time, I think, to have a little look and try and plug it on and get it all sorted out. So fire, um, fire. yeah, fire it up, fire it up. Let me grab the old socket. Let me grab that. Where's that go? That goes round there, round there, round there, round there. That's good. Got a decent lump of lead on here. Now, as I used to have, I used to have. This is a 14 CFM on here, okay? Uh, I used to have um, a 50 litre upright direct drive. So this is a bit of an upgrade with regards to um, output and what have you. Let me just plug that in. Turn that off. There's a plug, there it is there, that fits over lovely. Turn it off first. Oh, it's got a little tiny cover on the plug there, Riley. All right. All right, this might make you jump, Riley, boys. You might not want to be about in here. I don't hear. You can stand out of the way, are you? I know, I know you don't like sudden noises. So Riley's got um, additional needs, and big sudden noises he, he, he don't like. So I'm going to turn that off first, so push that down to, to turn that off, and turn it on at the wall. That's on at the wall. Right, fire in a hole. Fire hole! Right, so unfortunately, we have a little bit of a problem in the shed. Um, so my new air compressor is too powerful for the breaker of which I've got in the shed here. Now, I just spoke to my electrician. He's actually here yesterday. This is about two days later. Um, I've had a new consumer unit fitted uh, in the house. Um, because we have a new kitchen fitted and uh, it's got a new breaker put in, a new consumer board in there. But anyway, this um, compressor runs at 13, um, 13 amps. Let me pull it out. Let me just pull her out just a smidge. It was it was something I was sort of worried about a little bit. So this is pulling at 13 amps. There you go, 13 amps. Okay, just uh, it says so just there. So it's pulling at 13 amps and the breaker that it's on is 16 amp, okay? Which is this one here, this breaker here. So it pulls at 16 amps. So that's not quite enough. It's, it's enough to run it when it's running, but it's not enough for the initial surge. So when you turn the power on and you want it to power up, it's not enough. So he was around here yesterday, fitted a new consumer unit for me, 500 quid. Thank you very much. Uh, that's done. So I had a quick little chat with him about it, and he said uh, the cable I've got is powerful enough for over 20 amps. So he's either going to put a new 20 amp type C breaker in there, um, in, in replacement, or he's going to put me a. Uh, there's enough room in, in the uh, enough room in the consumer unit here to put another breaker in uh, just here, and he's going to. He might put another um, socket purely for the for the um, compressor, a 20 amp one. Uh, as I say, the cable is good enough to take it, and it's all good up in the house. But if I turn it all on, just show you what it does. Uh, so that's all turned on. Uh, turn on, no, no, to turn on the socket. So that's a 16 amp socket. 
um, which is enough to power it, but not the initial surge, okay? So by putting a Type C um, 20 amp breaker in there, it should be able to get over the initial surge. And then if I just try and turn it on, you'll see the fan going to move. Boom, trips it out. And I go into here, and the breaker's, breaker's tripped, okay? So, um, so I can't do anything more with that until he's coming. And he's coming tonight to put the new breaker in. I think it's gonna cost about 25 quid. So it is something I just, I did have a little concern about thinking that possibly um, it would be a bit too much because I have gone up in compressor size. I've gone up from a, from a 50 litre to 90 litre um, and I couldn't tell you what my old one used to pull. Um, I think my old one was about, uh, about seven and a half CFM. This is 14 CFM. So, pardon me. So it is something you want to just consider if you're upgrading your compressor to make sure that your um, your breaker is powerful enough to do it. If you're not sure, right, and I'm not sure because I'm not sparky, if you're not sure, get someone in, right? Just pay the money, 25, 40 quid, here, look at it and tell you what it is you need to be safe because what you don't want, you don't want to muck about with these. If they ain't right, get someone in. Um, to look at it, but um, we we'll carry on once he's been. He's coming tonight, so the rest of the video will be tomorrow. But I'm already happy with the compressor itself. Um, you should never run these on extension leads either. Extension leads and compressors is a big no-no. Don't do it. Uh, but this one here is um, it's, a, it's a dual outlet, so I've got regulated uh, outlet and I've also got um, non-regulated too. So it's got a dual outlet, so that's brilliant. So what I might do is I might have the regulated one. For the for down this end of the shop, and the non-regulated one when I get tidied up because my shed's a bit of a mess. Uh, down at the carburetor cleaning station, I get it all sorted out. So I could have two two hoses here, but at the moment, video's on hold until my Sparky turns up to fit in a brand new breaker for me. When he has fitted it, I'll carry on. Okay, so it's the next day on my um, SGS 90 litre air compressor because I did actually have a, has a, have an issue. And the issue was when I turned the compressor on, it blew the breaker or tripped trip the breaker out. So I got hold of my local spark and said, what are my options? Because it, it should handle it. It said it's got 13 amps coming out and I've got 16 amp drawn. It should be okay. He said, no, Mick, I dare say it's pulling more than that on an initial startup. So what he's done is, um, just to get over the situation, he's actually, let me bring you around. He's actually now, uh, put another breaker in for me, uh, this one here, he's put a C-Type 32 in, okay, which is a slow release tripper, so it will get over the initial shock of it pulling pulling those, those sort of amps from initial startup. It was on this one here, the B16, which was my sockets, um, but now, um, since he's been, I think he charged me like 25 quid to put another breaker in. He he was here, he, he was here minutes, he, he was here <laughs> 10 minutes, 25 quid, that paid for the breaker and the insulation, so that's cheap. All certified up, and now with it plugged in, turned on, air compressor runs, and it is so much more quieter than my old air compressor. Okay, and uh, the old one was, was sounded like um, sounded like my Danish friend's um, hydraulic lift table. But so super happy with the SGS um, 90 litre belt driven air compressor, a much better air compressor. They're around about 400 old quid now. Uh, but I will leave a link in the description where you can buy them from SGS. They come with a two-year extended warranty. And uh, just, just let them know mixed modes I sent you. You never know, you might get a couple of quid knocked off. I doubt it, though. But um, this came pretty much the next day, uh, although I didn't order it next day delivery. It came pretty much the next day, and it's cost me the, pro the purchase of the air compressor and then an extra £25 just to upgrade my breaker from what it was on to, to the, to the C-Type 32 breaker. So now I have my air compressor now fully working. And I really, really missed it. So I'll do a few more videos on this if you want me to. I'm going to do a separate video on what happens if your air compressor keeps tripping the breakers, what to do. There'll be a video coming out of it very, very soon. So if you like the air compressor, go and buy yourself one. Because without it, I'll be stuck. If you like the episode of Mixed Mother Man, Man, hit your subscribe button or whack the old bell. Send notifications to all. That way you'll be told next time I've done a video. I look forward to the episode of Mixed Mother very, very soon. But until then, guys and girls, much more importantly, take it easy.